Listen son, this is gonna sound weird, but your name might actually not be Jessica. Parents of identical twins, how sure are you, that you never accidentally switched them around, and raised them under the wrong names? I know a set of twins, whose parents switched their names permanently, on purpose. After giving the twins their names at the hospital, their mom and dad brought them home and decided their individual personalities actually suited the opposite name. So their parents just switched their names, didn't have to do any paperwork. It's amazing, now that the twins are fully grown, in their late 20s now, their personalities are still so opposite, artist versus banker, and their names suit them both absolutely perfectly. Also, it's a great story now that they tell everyone, which is, very cute. Parent of twins here. When they were first born in the hospital, literally a few hours old, they were in little cots with their name tags above their heads. Someone opened a door too fast and the breeze knocked both tags to the ground. I picked the tags up and couldn't remember which was which so, I just guessed. No one else needs to know. Especially not their mother. I used to babysit these twins. Their mom always dressed them in the same exact outfit, except for the color of their socks. Well, when they were one year old, they loved taking their shoes and socks off. I mixed them up plenty of times. I used to call their names over and over to see which one responded to the name. They both looked identical. The first few times it happened, I let the parents know, but they were aware of it and didn't make a big deal out of it. So then I just put the socks on whichever I thought was right. Then I started putting a washable marker line on one of their feet, and that's how I differentiated them. I'm pretty sure their mom knew who was who, because she'd always tell me which was which when I came over. When I started drawing the line she told me this is Peter and this is Tommy. I always drew the line on Peter. And I remember once she came in and said something about Peter singing, but it was the one she had told me was Tommy earlier. When I corrected her, she was just like, geez can't tell them apart. And that was the end of it. Father of identical twin boys here. The day after their birth the boys were sleeping in a hospital cot designed for twins. The cot itself lay on a slight incline, to ensure that the baby's heads were kept slightly elevated. This, unfortunately, caused both the boys' hospital tags to slide off their skinny little legs during the night and land at the bottom of the cot. If I hadn't taken a photo of the boys the night before and written their names on the picture, we would have never known exactly who was who. Bullet dodged. Have twins, now four years old. When they were newborns, before we were able to set up a system to feed both at the same time during overnight feedings, we would hold them one at a time with a bottle in hand. Feedings would take 45 minutes to an hour sometimes. Anyway, in my sleep deprived stupor, I fed one kid, put him down, grabbed the other bottle and forgot which kid I had fed. Pretty sure one kid got fed twice a couple times while the other did not eat. I read something once where a father asked advice, about getting one baby tattooed to tell them apart, but they were still tiny infants. One had a very serious heart condition and one didn't. If the one with the condition missed his meds it could kill him. If the one that didn't have the condition was given the meds, he could actually die too. He was asking for advice because they had spent a significant time in the ER recently, when the meds were accidentally given to the wrong baby. They had tried everything, bracelets, painting toes, and lots of other stuff according to him, but they were terrified of mixing them up again, especially since the accidental medication almost killed the baby. I just remember everyone calling him a monster and me being all for it. He even wanted it brown, so they could just make it look like a freckle to keep both babies healthy and alive. I don't have twins, but I'm a midwife. Medication errors in twins is one of my biggest fears. I work in a pharmacy and we had a prescription come in for a Brianna last name. We only had a profile for Gianna last name. Same date of birth, same address, and the names sound similar so we thought maybe the office got the name wrong. So we fill it under Gianna and put a lock on it to clarify when the patient comes in. But not long after we complete it, we get a phone call from a girl asking, if there was a prescription there for Brianna last name. We explain the situation, clarify that her name is Brianna and not Gianna, and that maybe someone misheard her somewhere. Oh, that's my sister, she says. Duh, wins. I would have gone with Brianna and Gianna but whatever. Actually, 
We're triplets. Lo and behold, third sister's name is Elena. Brianna, Gianna, and Elena. Triplets. I feel like you're just asking for a medical error by naming them so similarly. All the metrics that are usually used, to tell people apart, are useless with twins, at least make their names distinct. I know someone with identical triplets. She said this was her absolute biggest, all-consuming fear. They kept the hospital bands on as long as possible, and then used colored sharpies. They also kept one of each baby's feet color-coded. The third baby has always been considerably smaller though, so she is easy to tell apart, she got less placenta or something. The other two though are completely interchangeable. She said they did the color coding thing for the first few years, until the kids knew who they were and could tell each other apart. A friend and I, were telling each other stories, and he said he was one of identical twins but he lost his sibling. His family was caught in a Balkan snowstorm, when he was a baby and one of them died, and he has no idea if he is named as himself or as his brother. Imagine not knowing if you are who you really are. Thank you for watching Royal AI. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive future episodes. Share your experience in the comments, or tell us what you think of these stories.